Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we continue to explore every corner of the world's largest country, the Russian Federation. So let's not waste any time and let's see what Arhangelsk is all about. Arhangelsk Oblast is one of Russia's biggest federal subjects. It includes the Nenets Autonomous Okrug, over which it has administrative jurisdiction. Together, they're almost as big as Spain and Portugal put together, but house only 1.2 million people. That's because this oblast is way up in the north, so naturally conditions aren't exactly ideal for humans. Arhangelsk, which of course means Archangel, is one of Russia's most beautiful provinces. This place is almost completely covered by forests, and besides that, it's dotted with old, beautifully crafted wooden buildings, some as old as 400 years. This part of Western Russia is one of the most interesting, so you'll definitely want to stick around for the rest of the video. The territory that is now Arhangelsk Oblast used to be inhabited by Finno-Ugric people since prehistoric times, and in fact, most of the toponyms in the region are still Finno-Ugric. However, Slavic settlement of the region began nearly 1,000 years ago, first under the leadership of the Novgorod Republic. Merchants used waterways to go deeper and deeper into this territory and gradually Arhangelsk became a Russian land. Due to its remoteness, Arhangelsk became a magnet for Christian monks, and the many monasteries that survive to this day bear testament to this. Fast forward a few centuries and you might be surprised to find out that this place was one of the most active battlegrounds in the Russian Civil War of 1918. Here, white troops, the anti-communist forces, fought together with British and American allies against the Bolsheviks and the Red Army. As we all know today, they lost, and Arhangelsk too came under the spell of Soviet communism. The city of Arhangelsk is the capital of the oblast. This city lies on the banks of the northern Dvina river, and if you can imagine, it spreads for over 40 kilometers along its banks. It was established in the 12th century with the construction of the Archangel Michael Monastery, hence the name. The actual city was born in the 16th century. In medieval times and right up until the construction of St. Petersburg, Arhangelsk was Russia's main seaport. Nowadays, it's still one of the most important ports of the country, while also having one of the most active cultural lives. It's not the most well-known Russian destinations, but I reckon it's still worth checking out. You might be pleasantly surprised. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you something. This video isn't sponsored, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Right, with that said, let's go to fact number 4. Arhangelsk Oblast is the place from which some of the most feared war machines of Russia come from. Nuclear submarines. The city of Severodvinsk is home to Sevmash, the largest shipbuilding company in this country. It's also the only company that makes Russian nuclear submarines. Over 100 of these beasts came from this facility, plus hundreds of other military and civilian vessels. In case you didn't know, nuclear submarines are the ones that use nuclear power to generate electricity. These fearsome vessels don't need to be refueled during their lifespan of up to 30 years, and the only resource that limits their time on the water is the food supply for the crew. Two of the most hostile and isolated places in the Northern Hemisphere are located in Arhangelsk Oblast, Franz Josef Land and Novaya Zemlya. Franz Josef Land, named after the Austro-Hungarian Emperor, is a collection of 192 islands located in the Arctic Ocean. So to say it can get cold here is a gross understatement. Only military personnel live in these parts. Glaive Fligoli is part of Franz Josef Land, and there's one thing to be mentioned about it. This is the northernmost point of Russia, Europe, and Eurasia. It sits just 911 kilometers from the North Pole. Novaya Zemlya is another archipelago that's part of Arhangelsk. Here you'll find Cape Flisinski, which is the easternmost point of Europe. 
Novaya Zemlya is also the place where, in 1961, the Soviet Union tested the largest, most powerful nuclear weapon in human history, the Tsar Bomba. This bomb had a yield of 50 megatons, which is pretty much in the range of apocalyptic bombs. Arangyask isn't just a remote oblast of the Russian Federation, it's also one of the country's spaceports. The Plesetsk Cosmodrome lies about 800 kilometers north of Moscow and its main function is to launch satellites into orbit. It was originally an ICBM site, but since the early 1960s it also became a launch site for space rockets. Due to the high latitude of this location, Plesetsk Cosmodrome can only be used for certain types of launches, so no humans venture into space from here. Nevertheless, since the breakup of the Soviet Union, when the main spaceport Baikonur became a foreign territory, Plesetsk has seen considerably more activity. As you can imagine, Arangelsk isn't just an empty corner of the world where there's nothing to see. It's quite the opposite, actually. This place can awe you with amazement. One particular highlight of the oblast is Solovki, or the Solovetsky Islands, an archipelago of the White Sea. It hosts the Solovetsky Monastery Complex, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was founded in the 15th century by just two monks, and by the end of the 16th century it became one of the wealthiest and most influential abbeys in the whole of Russia. The monastery still stands strong today and is a major tourist attraction. These islands are also famous for another thing. They were the site of the first of many Soviet prison camps, what we now call gulags. Founded in 1923, its main purpose was to detain and um, re-educate political dissidents. The camp, however, was quite close to the border and several daring escapes occurred. Eventually, the camp was shut down and thousands of prisoners were transferred elsewhere or just shot right there. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.